Hey there, Sag, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of November, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Sag, if this reading resonates and you would like to book a personal, all the info is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Okay, Sag. Wow. Starting off, I can already tell you there's a lot of major arcana cards showing up here, which means your energies this month are intense. I like it, though. I like it. Um, you may be dealing with another person. If so, your person could be an Aries, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Leo. Those are the ones that I'm seeing. Obviously, they can be any sign. Those are just the main ones that I'm seeing. Main energy for your reading is the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you get the Emperor. Not much is happening here in a certain aspect. Um, but you're, you're, not much is happening, but you're like, it's okay. I'm in control. I got this. It's good. Like, I can handle this. Um, but I want to see what, what, like, what's not happening. What's not moving. In the recent past, you get the Fool, the Seven of Wands, and the Justice. So there's very much an energy of new beginning here, but this new beginning comes along with a lot of resistance. There's a lot of walls. There's a lot of resistance. This is not smooth sailing at all. And you're showing me, I don't want this resistance. I just want to balance these energies out. I want it to be good. I don't want this wall after wall after wall. Like <laughs> I want smooth sailing. Um, I don't know if you're able to balance them out. We'll clarify the justice in a minute and see. In the current situation, you get the six of pentacles, the star and the magician. Woof. Wow. Um, you really want this. And what you want is some exchange of energies with somebody. Now I see what, remember how I said the main energy for your reading is nothing's happening? You're showing me in the current situation, I want something to happen. It doesn't even have to be something big. I just want some exchange of energy, some interaction, some anything, a text message, a call, a, a wave at the supermarket. Like I just want something from this person. Because you want it so bad in the current situation, it's letting me know that it's not happening, especially with the star and the magician. Like, you want this so, so badly. If I were a genie and I was like, uh, sad, you get one wish, you're like, just make something happen. Just make something. That's all I want. Just make something happen. I don't see it happening, though, in the current situation. Um, in the near future, you get the page of wands, the six of swords, and the sun. Something happens in the near future, though. Um, <laughs> whoever walked away here, they're the ones coming back. Um... The reason I'm kind of hesitant, Sag, is because this person's coming in with very underwhelming energy. This is very much an energy of like, really? This is this is what you're coming in with after all this time, right? Um, nonetheless, though, it makes you happy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck and it makes you happy. And it makes sense because like you want it so badly in the current situation. So when it ends up actually happening in the near future, obviously this would like make you feel like you're walking on sunshine. Um I'm just not a huge, I'll be honest, like I'm just not a huge fan of this page of wands. This is a childish, immature energy, which I feel like given how much you want this in the current situation, them showing up with this like page of wands energy in the near future, it's like, I feel like they could give a little bit more, you know, like why are we showing up with the page? Why not? Why not with the knight? But we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see. Let's start off with the page of pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. You're a little bit conflicted here because you're showing me, I feel like, such a deep soul connection with this person. You really do. And you and this person have pretty good memories, um, good times together. Now, you're not going to like me very much, Sag. Um, nothing is happening here in the 3D world, but what you're doing is you're showing me, oh, nothing's happening here in the 3D world. It's throwing you into this, like a little bit of an internal conflict with yourself because you're showing me this happened in the past. Like I've been down this road before I've been down this, like I've been on this rodeo before. Um, or this isn't my first rodeo, whatever the heck the saying is. Now, I don't know if it's a rodeo with this person or if you've been down this road with somebody else and this is just giving you deja vu. I don't know what this is. But you're kind of like feeling a little bit conflicted about like, how did I end up in this situation again? Like how, how is, is, how, how is history repeating itself again? Whether it's with this person, the same person or like a completely different person. Let's take a look at the recent past. Clarify the fool. Fool is clarified by the tower, the six of swords and the strength. Oof. 
you're showing me this connection this person was like a totally new beginning I finally felt like you know what my history is cleared we're starting over like again whether it's with the same person or somebody else this is a completely new beginning it's so exciting it's so positive it's so you know this that and the other and then it was great 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 and then bam out of nowhere just like the tower this person just ups and leaves they're like yep can't do this anymore and they just take their toys and leave and you're like that was so difficult for me to deal with partly because it came out of nowhere and partly because things were so so good like literally the fool is a very positive energy and then until they weren't and in like the shift was almost instant it wasn't like a gradual like okay this is getting worse this is getting worse. it was like literally great to, to not great out of nowhere bottom of the deck you get the death again so this ending um came out of nowhere let's take a look at the seven of wands in the recent past Seven of Wands is clarified by the justice, which you get again in the recent past, the sun, which you get in the near future, and the page of pentacles, which was the main energy for your reading. There's a lot of resistance here for you because you're showing me like, I just want to be happy. I just want to feel like the energies are balanced. Like what I give, I receive that this is, you know, it's good. It's balanced. It's level. There's none of this like up and down. It's just leveled. And you're showing me, I don't understand why it's not like that. Like, what am I meant to learn from this? I will say this, there is still some communication in the recent past. So I feel like you and this person are still talking somewhat in the recent past. Um, but there's a lot of resistance. There's a lot of walls. And I think you're starting to question, like, am I meant to learn something from this? Like, what, what universe, what are you trying to tell me? Because, like, why is it like this? Let's take a look at the justice in the recent past. Justice is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, which you get again in the current situation, the Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. You're showing me I'm willing to do what I need to do to like work with this person. I just want there to be this equal exchange of energies. What I give, I receive. You know, I'm not asking for too much. I'm just asking that like the energy that I give you, you give me. Okay. And you're showing me I'm willing to do the work to make that happen. And I'm also willing to do the work, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, to have a brand new beginning in love here. Okay, you want to start over. Um, the problem is this person is very, very set in their ways. Like they could be a Libra. They could also be an earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn or just embodying that energy where it's like once I say something like that's it. You're not going to move me. You're not going to sway my decision um, one way or the other. I don't feel like you're actually trying to sway their decision because you're showing me like I'm trying to work on some balance, some exchange of energies. But at the end of the day, you're kind of like, look, like you are who you are. You're going to do what you want to do. Like, I can't affect this. Let's look at the six of pentacles in the current situation. Six of pentacles is clarified by the lovers, the fool, which you got in the recent past in the same row, and the three of pentacles. You're showing me. This is a soul connection. Like you genuinely love this person, Sad. You really do. You feel like this is a very, very deep soul connection. You look at yourself as the lovers, right? The lovers is a deep soul connection. I don't know how to say it any other way. And you're showing me all I want is for us to just like wipe the slate clean, forget you walking away, forget the heart, forget everything. Let's just start over. Let's wipe the slate clean. Let's rebuild, okay? And you're not even trying to put a title on it where you're like, I want us to get back in a relationship. You're like, let's just interact with each other. Text me. Talk to me. Let's hang out. Let's communicate. Let's have something happen here, right? Where there's this, again, exchange, equal exchange of energies and us working together to rebuild the foundation so we can have a new beginning here. That's your desire. Um, let me see the star in the current situation. Star is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Judgment. You know what you want, okay? Excuse me. You're showing me, like, I know what I want. I know, like, what I'm desiring, which is this. I'm not going to give up on this. I'm not going to let go of this. Like, this is what I want. This is what I want to have happen. But nothing is actually happening here in the 3D world. And so you're showing me this is a desire. But, like, if you're looking at, like, here in the 3D world, nothing's happening. There's no communication. There's no talking. There's no equal exchange. There's nothing. There's nothing. And you're showing me like, I know I need to decide what to do. I know what I want. But also if I'm looking at it black and white, nothing is happening. And so I need to make a decision based on the current situation. 
you need to make a decision. You're not making a decision quite yet in the current situation. Bottom of the deck, you get the Seven of Cups. You are a little bit emotionally overwhelmed, so I can see why you wouldn't like rush to make a decision. Let's look at the Magician in the current situation. The Magician is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Emperor. Oh, Sag. You're showing me, like, I just want an apology. Just come in, like, just offer me something. Just be like, hey, I've been thinking about you. Hey, I'm missing you. Like, any kind of emotion, something to show that, like, I'm still on your mind. But again, I don't see that happening because you're showing me, like, this is what I want. I just want something from them. And you're so heartbroken that you're not getting that. You're so devastated. But again, you get the emperor because you got it at the bottom of the deck for your main energy. You're keeping yourself in control. You're like, okay, I can still handle this. Like, I'm not going to show them how badly I'm hurting. I'm not going to show them how much I want this. Like, they're not talking to me. They're not communicating. I know what I want, but like, if they're not matching my energy, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's take a look at the near future because I don't feel like it's going to be like this forever. Let's clarify the page of wands in the near future. Page of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you get the Nine of Wands. You're kind of frustrated here in the near future. Um, I don't see this person coming in quite yet. I'm going to clarify this in a minute and see. Um, but you are quite frustrated here in the near future. You're showing me like I'm just thinking and thinking and thinking. And the more you think about it, it's not the more confused you get, but the more uncertain you become of whatever decision you're leaning towards in the current situation sometimes you're like you know what I'm done with this forget this person I want nothing to do with them other times you're like you know what I do miss them I do want to reconcile I do want to work through this the more you think about it the more you can't like decide like which one is it right um you're just waiting you're waiting here in the near future you kind of lean towards a certain decision in the current situation. You don't fully make it yet. And in the near future, you kind of waffle back and forth between I want this, I want that. I'll do this, I'll do that. At the end of the day, Sag, I'll be honest with you, you're just waiting for them. You're sitting here and you're just waiting. Um, let's take a look at the Six of Swords in the near future. Six of Swords is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. I'm sorry, Sag. Bottom of the deck, you get the Ace of Swords. You're still single here. You're still single in the near future. You're really confused because you're showing me like they walked away. And essentially like they're single, I'm single. And they walked away. Why do I still feel so connected to them? Why do I still feel so attached to them? You know, like why, <laughs> why do I still feel this bond? it is confusing I can understand that because I do see the bond and I have to say Sag I don't see an actual severing of the energies like I see them abruptly leaving I see them just up and leaving suddenly but like I don't see the ten of swords I don't like I don't see an actual definitive ending so I can see why you'd still be like well you know we haven't talked in a while and nothing has happened why do I still feel so attached and connected to them let's take a look at the sun in the near future Sun is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. And I told you that they end up coming back. They always come back. Yeah. Yeah. They do something. They come in. They do the, the, here in the current situation, you're asking for something. You're like, just tell me you miss me. Tell me you're thinking about me. They come in with that and then some. So they're showing up here in the near future as the Knight of Cups, right? Like I said, like Knight of Cups offering you their cup of love telling you they miss you they love you da da because you're literally showing me like the king of cups and the queen of cups we are a divine pair a divine match emotionally and they love me and i love them and there's so much love here and it makes me so happy the sun is the happiest card in the entire deck and so whatever they do they're coming in here in the near future it really does make you very very happy and i don't see any like false pretenses i don't see them coming in you know, with any games or trying to play like, you know, anything manipulative. I don't see that. My only question to you, Sag, is like, what took so long? Because this is like the very end of this reading at the very end of the near future. What took so long? So let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Sag.
From the universe, you get the King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, you get the Temperance, which is you. You know deep down that this happiness that you want with this person, right? Them coming back, them offering you their love, whatever, it's coming. You know that. You do start to question it a little bit because, again, it takes a long time for something to happen. Not much is happening in the current situation and even like in the near future. Something ends up happening. So they do end up coming back. It just takes a while. So, Sag, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you here on the next one.